this is Nilsson Lima and we are back here to the uh, EO SQLite asset and we uh, just want to cover another stuff uh, remember that uh, when we play we got a, the values that were stored when we run uh, it last time and you might ask uh, what is the, the usefulness of this and, and let me show uh, if you click here in BP asset and, and click Ctrl W you duplicate the asset and if you uh, notice here now you have both assets here and if you click play uh, you see that the first one still got the same values but the second one uh, it was not stored at the database and it would have its own values uh, but as there was none it was initialized with the default values here uh, so if we like put here 666 and kind of a reddish color um, okay and we stop and hit play again and, and see that uh, now somehow uh, the plugin have just find a way to store for two different instances its own values here uh, how can you check that? You can open the DB My Asset and make sure to click in Refresh Data Preview. And here you see both records for each instance. The ID here will use uh, the name of the 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 instance the instance that actor. It would mean if I hover my mouse here you can see the names okay this is the names that are stored there and all this done for you without writing a single line of SQL code now uh, let's write something more useful um, uh, maybe we can create a sort of an um, inventory and for this uh, we need to make some preparations here and uh, first we need to define our inventory so for our inventory we need um, a structure so my structure to define how the hacker should look like inventory and Let's just make it here. So this uh, structure defines uh, what exactly. If you think an inventory uh, like a matrix, uh, so we might want to define like the cells for this um, for this inventory and for having the instances we can make it like a array sort of so it might also change here for inventory cell so it is will be clear that is just a cell and what has what we have in an inventory cell uh, we must be able to see our item so we have something like an identification for the item and a quantity uh, for the identification for this item we might think of um, Let's do something very simple, like enumeration for item type, and let's create here not that much, um, 
maybe you can have food water a material this simple way and in here we can have our um, e item type because um, we want uh, also uh, know, try to understand where this data uh, will be stored. Well, and inventories are attributes associated with characters. Um, so each character might have its own inventory. So if I was to create an inventory I would like go into the 30-person uh, character and implement the inventory there. There are multiple ways you can do that. Uh, for the sake just for doing this fast to show you guys how, how it works we can like um, edit our third-person character here and in the variables we can create our inventory it should be an st inventory cell click here and like we can create a array there are other options okay but array will be fine and as I told, if this is an array, so an inventory is a collection of inventory cells, which is stored as an array. So this symbol here changes for this grid if you have chosen an array. This one is a single element. So we don't want a single element, we want an array. Okay. Um, I think it's fine the way it is. Um, we have to define our data set let's call this db inventory And we can have a column for um, should be uh, should be another thing should never add actually it's an array and this is basically uh, what you have stored here and we have to make sure that our inventory here is set a save game we have to make sure that we implement as we have done here this interface and it have created these same functions here okay same events I 
So um, we click on class settings. We are in the third person character. And we add SQL data. Hit compile, save. We are in the event graph. So you can hide. Just go over here. Copy. And paste. We have nothing broken. So this is good. And this is the only thing that you have to to have. Uh, but then um, our game mode need also to retain as we have made this okay um, DB inventory reference and types would be SQL okay SQLite compile now we have to edit the value and put the inventory here hit compile save and now what we want to do is like doing this Ctrl W it might might work Ctrl W okay this is enough do load the game, you come here, from here, come to here, and do this for all the objects. Um, do save game, we'll do the same. It's 10 seconds. This does nothing, this does nothing, this does nothing. So, we compiling and save, we might be done with our game mode for the time being. Uh, now here we got our inventory save game well currently we don't have anything here so basically you can close this basically if I hit play and uh, should not have done this because I didn't make this editable so again We might see our inventory here with zero elements. So unless I add, so now I like simulating how I'm doing things and say that the first one I have like five foot and two water. Let's make sure we are on our 10 seconds so if I hit stop click right here we are zero as the default for the class if I hit play and get back there we will see two elements so we got our stuff saved like we can place another one and say this is a material yeah I have 
one two five three as quantity okay if we stop play again there you go everything perfectly fine I uh, hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this and and hopefully uh, I have to train uh, my team on other aspects of this asset and I will make another video soon thank you for watching bye bye